I cannot use Mount Kenya as an example because now it is Strathmore and Mount Kenya who are nearest to that requirement. We have also been to public universities and the biggest problem with public universities, they have double decks where you have six people in one cubicle or four people in one cubicle. So the, the universities have to find a, a way of ensuring that they can navigate that area. Many of the universities also have not done anything towards doing what you have seen here. Today I've seen automatic dispensers in Thika, both in, at, at the institute and here. And I'm very impressed that they are there. I've seen many water points. You have seen the level of cleanliness here. You have seen that they have done things in there. It is not like that in, in the public universities, in the teacher training colleges, apart from the one we found in Moranga. And so we thought it was not, we were not going to risk our children, especially when the COVID is still getting higher. And by the way, one of my officers, one of my senior officers just died of COVID a few days ago. So this thing is not a joke, my friend. Then we say, finally, this decision is not cast in stone. Are you together? Because we can move backwards or forwards. If, for example, in the next two weeks, we flatten the curve completely and it starts coming down, would we have a reason to keep the places closed until January? But then you can't demand because we don't know how the, uh, the virus behaves. Eh? In our committee, we have the chief infectious disease expert of the country, Dr. Ombajo, and she's the one who gives us, she gives us advice that is informed, that has informed that pushback position. I ask them whether they, they have. We are advising that you should be in partnership with the hospital, which is not more than 10 kilometers away from you. But since I've been here so many times and I know there's a hospital near here, it did not come out as a requirement. When somebody has a fever, you don't label that person corona. It could be malaria or anything else. So there should be a holding isolation room as you arrange to take that person to the nearest medical facility for testing to be done. I am a man of letters and I have taught for 40 years. You do not repeat what you have not done. Do we agree? So th there is no child who is repeating any year. The argument of the MP for Nyeri is very simple. He is saying that we should set an exam based on what the children have learned. But we have told him many times, see I have come here. We have gone to schools and we have briefed everybody including His Excellency the President that as far as public schools are concerned, even the examination classes alone cannot come back and, and do exams because it is not going to be possible to fit them. There are a certain number of schools where you can fit 